FS Data Desktop was designed to improve the field experience of our customers. It features a simple, intuitive user interface, set up wizards to guide you through installation, and smart program checks to reduce the chance of program errors. This tutorial video will introduce you to several of the features and terminology used in the program. To begin our tutorial today, I will locate the icon for FS Data Desktop and I will double click it to open the application. The taskbar at the top of the FS Data Desktop application consists of three elements. From left to right, you have the main menu pull down that allows you to choose from a list of tasks, for example, data viewing or report creation. Next is the application task header. And finally, the connect connection status and download bar. The triangles or arrowheads you see in various places in the program are used to open or close menus and expand or compress menu trees. Connecting to a logger now will help to show you the features of FS Data Desktop. To connect to a logger, attach the communication cable between the logger and the computer. Select Connect in the upper right hand corner. FS Data Desktop will display the available COM ports. Your COM port selection will be persisted by FS Data Desktop, so you won't have to select the COM port again unless you use a different port. The instrument dashboard is what you want to select when you need to perform tasks while connected to a logger. For example, you would need to use Instrument Manager to program a logger, calibrate sensors, and verify sensor performance. Here in Instrument Dashboard, you can quickly see the logger and sensor information, current status, and program settings all in one place. We'll cover the instrument dashboard in much greater detail in separate videos broken up by sensor type. The data task is where you want to go when you want to review tabular or graphical data found within data files you have downloaded from your instruments. The reports task is where you go to create reports from your data. Once again, we'll cover these topics in greater detail in separate videos. Under Utilities, you will find a program editor that can be used to create and view program templates without being connected to an instrument. There is also the Log Viewer for viewing event, diagnostic, alarm, and sample logs. And finally, an instrument tool for clearing data logs and restoring loggers to factory defaults. Here's a hint. Tasks that are not available will be grayed out. For example, you cannot use the offline programming editor or update the FS Data Desktop application software when you are connected to an instrument. Under the Help section, you can find a settings task for selecting preferred units and startup options. There is also a software update utility that will allow you to check for software updates through an internet connection. In the center of the taskbar lies the task header. This tells us what task we are currently running. In this example, we are using the reports task. The connection status, connect, and download bar on the far right of the taskbar allow you to connect or disconnect to an instrument, download data, and view your connection status. When connected to a logger, you will see a green box surrounding this bar. The text in the button will say disconnect and the status text in the lower left of the bar will say connected. The download button is not available unless you are connected to a logger. For more detailed information on any of the features mentioned in this video, check for specific individual videos in the list on the webpage.